So, I'm getting backlash for the Terrence Crawford video that I made when Terrence Crawford said that, you know, the Madrimal fight feels bigger than the Errol Spence fight. And um, when he also said that the Errol Spence fight was for the urban community, this fight is like more of a world thing. He's seeing a lot of different faces, different ethnicities, etc. And I'm like, yo, Terrence Lyon, that fight, this fight right here is nowhere near bigger than the Errol Spence fight, right? Now, some of y'all came in and say, no, nah, bro, I think he's really saying it's, it's, uh, it feels bigger for him because he's the A-side, the promotion is a lot better, and, you know, PBC, and those, they, they did terrible uh, promoting the fight. Now, I can agree that PBC could have promoted that fight a lot better, in my opinion, because this fight was the Clash of the Titans. People had this fight build up as, like, a potential Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather matchup with these guys being younger than those than uh than Floyd and Manny was, right? This fight was a real potential. This was a clash of the Titans type of fight. And I felt like and I made videos saying that I feel like the promotion could have been a lot better. Yeah, they were all on different TV shows and all of that, but I felt like you both have been seeing way more like it was po the hoopla around this fight. This was a generational type of fight between two great welterweight fighters right and so you know i understand people saying yo this fight is bigger for bud because look at the promotion the promotion is bigger you know eminem is performing at the fight um they giving away a free car and all of that and yeah if you're saying the fight is bigger because of you know the promotion and terrence crawford being the a-side and that's why he feels like it's bigger okay i give you that right but I, the fact of the matter is, this fight is not bigger than the Errol Spence fight. Because some people in here are trying to argue, not on my video, but I saw other people on, on Twitter trying to argue that, hey, this fight is a bigger fight regardless. It ain't just what Terrence feels. It's a bigger fight. Bro, it's not. Okay? Terrence Crawford, and people think I'm trying to take away from Terrence when I say this. I had Errol Spence. I picked Errol Spence to win that fight. Terrence Crawford eviscerated Errol Spence. Like, Terrence Crawford beat Arrow from pillar to post, and he will do the same thing in a rematch at the higher weight. I've said that, right? Terrence Crawford is a generational fighter. Arrow Spence is a great fighter. Terrence Crawford is a generational fighter. I believe Terrence Crawford has the chance to be undisputed three times if he fight Canelo four. I got him beating Canelo Alvarez. That's how much respect I have for Terrence Crawford. This is not Terrence Crawford hate propaganda. What I was saying is that there is no way a fight against Madrimal is bigger than Errol Spence. One, that fight was just not for the urban community, and I want to dispel that myth. He said it like, because urban mean black. Bro, more than just black people watch that fight, bro. Seriously. That fight was, like, and why why was this fight bigger? Was Errol Spence, the Errol Spence fight bigger than the Madrimal fight? Errol Spence was looked at as a pound-for-pound -pound fighter. He was on everybody's pound for pound list. Some people had him like five, as high as five on a pound for pound list. People had Terrence Crawford one or two on a pound for pound list, right? Terrence, uh, Errol Spence was a unified what's away champion, had three belts. Terrence Crawford was a champion at multiple divisions. 135, 140, he was undisputed at 140. 147, he had a belt, right? With a gift, he could switch between Southpaw and Orthodox. He was stopping guys, right? This was a clash of the Titans fight. Everybody in boxing wanted to see this fight. Not just black folks. You had the boxing journalists, the boxing aficionados. You had the, the um, just regular boxers themselves wanted to see the fight. Longtime boxing fans. Casual fans was interested in seeing it because they heard, you know, women heard their husbands talking about, about the fight. Men heard their cousins and their uncles talking about the fight. Women heard their girlfriends or their brothers talking about the fight. So they wanted to pull up and watch the fight too. People was trying to find fight parties. People were hosting fight parties for the Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight. Right? I, like, listen, I don't know too many people hosting fight parties. And it's a great undercard. I don't know too many people hosting fight parties. For Terrence Crawford versus Madrimov. I'm not saying Madrimov isn't a good fighter, but he's nowhere near as accomplished as Errol Spence was. And that's why the fight was so built up. It was built, it was the way, that's why the, the build up for the fight was so big with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford because we knew, damn, 
These are two well accomplished guys who are pound for pound fighters. Majumov is not a pound for a pound for pound guy. He's not. Right? Um furthermore, the fight with Errol Spence did what? 650k, 650,000 pay-per-view pay-per-view buys. 650k almost 700 pay per 700 pay-per-view 700k pay-per-view buys. Um and what? It was a 21 million dollar gate at the fight. This fight with Madrimov, I'd be shocked if it cracked 400k pay-per-view buys. If it cracked 400k. Even with the great undercard, you got Big Baby, Andy Ruiz, you know Pitbull Cruz and them getting in. Like, even with the great undercard that they have, I still would be shocked if this fight cracks, if this fight cracks 400k pay-per-view buys. Even with Eminem performing and all the diversity and all the world talent around for you know for all you know for being broadcasted around the world and all the commercials and them giving away a free car, even with all the different ethnicities being involved in the fight, I would be shocked if it did 400 k pay per view buy pay per view buys. If it does, I will say I'm wrong. I'm wrong that if it do over 400 k, I will come on here and gladly say I'm wrong. This fight ain't getting nowhere near close to that 650k pay-per-view buys that he did with Errol Spence. Or that $21 million gate. It's not. And it's not that and I'm not uh, trying to shit on Terrence Crawford when I say that. Because Terrence is elite. It's just nobody was salivating at the mouth for a fight with Madrimov. Even though you can respect Madrimov's abilities, his talents, his prowess. Nobody was like jumping for joy when they heard this fight the way they were jumping for joy when they heard Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. You had people getting their tickets immediately to go fly out to go check the fight out. People already was getting reservations for hotel rooms immediately when the fight was booked, when the fight was signed, sealed, and delivered. People was all jumping on it immediately. People already like, yo, if I work on the weekend, I'm taking that day off. People was already making their plans. I don't know nobody taking their fight that day off to fight watch Terrence and Madrimov. I'm not. Not trying to discredit Madrimov. Terrence is elite. But I don't think he's ready for nowhere near ready for Terrence Crawford. I got Terrence Crawford stopping him early in like the fifth round. You know what I mean? No disrespect to him. You know, and, and regardless of what happened, because I know everybody going to say, Errol Spence got destroyed. Hindsight is 2020. We can't play Monday morning quarterback. When we saw that matchup, you people, people was really like, yo, this is a 50-50 fight. The world thought it was 50-50. Right? You had some Terrence Crawford fans saying it ain't no gonna be nowhere near close. You had some Errol Spence fans saying it ain't gonna be nowhere near close. In my opinion, I feel like this is gonna be a 50-50 fight, and it wasn't. It didn't turn out to be that way. He sm he smoked Errol. He did. And that ain't, I'm an Arrow fan saying that he smoked Arrow. And he'll do the same thing again. But the build-up for the fight, the potential, bro, people was talking about this like it was a historic welterweight fight. You're like, damn, this is really like all-time great stuff. Because of where these two were in their career, Arrow had three belts. He smoked this, kind. he was going through top competition in the welterweight division, clearing them out. Terrence Crawford was champion all across different weight classes. Man, this Majamon fight, yeah, it could have Eminem performing and all the different ethnicities at the fight. But that Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford was a fight that boxing, people celebrated when they boxing made that fight. Boxing needed to see that fight. And it made Terrence Crawford's legacy. For real, stamped it. This fight won't. 